First thing first, please be aware that we at Dr. Fee are no financial advisor. This video is for entertainment purpose only. Here is a quick walkthrough how you create your own API key and API secret at Gemini in less than two minutes. First, we log into our Gemini account. Here, we use the desktop version. As a second step, we click on the user center icon, select setting, and then select API. We want to create an API key and secret. Therefore, we click this button, create API key over here on the right hand side. Sometimes the system asks us at this point to perform the authentication. If so, we type in the code and continue. As a first step, we want to select the scope of the API. We can choose between master and primary. We are selecting primary as we want to limit the access to our account through the API. This is important. Hence, let me quickly explain. We are going to use the API for Dr. Fee. Therefore, we will only allow for the read-only access and do not grant any further permission. Through this, Dr. Fee is able to read the historic trade made on the account and can thereby simulate the fee paid at different exchanges to identify saving potentials, but could of course not access any further data or execute trade on the account. If you are using the API for automatic trading, copy trading, or something similar, you may need to grant further access. After selecting primary, we click Next. That brings us to this window. We have to give a name to the API key we are creating. You can choose whatever label you want for the API key. You may want to label it in the way that you know what the API key is used for. In this example, we name it Dr. Fee. Because we're going to use it at Dr. Fee to compare how much fee we would have paid for our trades at different exchanges and identify whether there is saving potential. Due to the many different tier and requirements at exchanges, it is extremely difficult to compare the fee levels. However, the fees itself differ greatly. Therefore, we want to regularly check whether we are overpaying in fees or not, given our trading value, holdings, and trading style. And we can use this API key in the future again when reassessing our fee saving potential. In the API setting further below, we will select Auditor. Put your cursor over the little I sign. You will see that this gives read-only access to the API. As mentioned previously, it is important to put the restriction for the API given its purpose and to limit risk. We do not want to select the file management and trading here because it will give trading access. We're nearly done. Make sure to copy and save the API secret from up here before closing the window. As you cannot access the API secret afterwards anymore, and you will need to create a new API in case the information is lost. Let's check mark the API secret acknowledgement and click Create API Key. The final step left is now to copy and pass the API key and API secret to the Dr. Fee website and let the simulation start to find out our fee saving potential. And that's it, we're all set. If you like the quick walkthrough of how to find your API key and API secret at Gemini, please leave us a like and a follow to stay up to date with all the new analytics we are developing for crypto traders. There are many powerful analysis coming, so stay tuned.